All right, uh, YouTube, this is uh, going to be the uh, update on my uh, solar project. Uh, I had a request for uh, a final uh, video on this, or an update video. But anyways, uh, uh, the reason it took, uh, it took me so long was because I had to uh, replace my panel here. Uh, I had an old, uh, crusty 100 amp panel, and uh, it just didn't have any more slots in it uh, to accommodate my solar. <coughs> uh, this is uh, the disconnect switch that uh, uh, they require you to have. Uh, city state requires you to have a disconnect switch. Uh, it also has to have uh, warning labels just like these. Those are all required. Let's see if I can get this open. Oh, it doesn't want to open. Oh, it's because it's on. Never mind. Okay, so when it's on, you cannot open that. Uh, and I don't want to shut off my solar. Uh, I think there's a little uh, pin here that holds it from uh, coming open. Uh, that's a safety feature. But I'm not going to shut down my uh, solar. You get the picture. It's basically coming in here uh, to a disconnect uh, fuse. Uh, you, shut, you flip the switch. It's a disconnect. It shuts it off. It shuts everything off. Uh, and it comes out from the bottom. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't remember what I did here. Uh, it either comes in here. I think it comes in here from the solar and then out from the top to the panel. Uh, and then this is my panel here. Uh, and your solar has to be on the topmost uh, uh, area here for the breaker. Uh, if your main is down here, then it has to be the furthest away from the main, which in this case it's up top. I guess if your main's up top or whatever, then it has to be down lower. So your solar breakers are the furthest away from your main switch. Anyways, that's, that's the uh, panel. And that took me a little while because I had to coordinate between me doing the work, uh, Edison coming to pull off my pa uh, my meter, and um, the city to come out and inspect uh, the uh, panel itself. That's a separate inspection from, from the final inspection for the solar uh, project itself. It's an inspection on the panel, uh, make sure that's done properly and to code, and then an inspection uh, for the solar. I'm going to take you up and show you my... Uh, I'll show you my array here. Okay, so you saw the uh, breaker in the panel there. Uh, basically, wire comes through the panel, uh, comes up through the attic, comes up through here, through this conduit. Uh, so it's a, basically a flex, it's a seal tight uh, conduit to this elbow, and it goes into this box. And then everything else, uh, this is the end phase trunk cable. And it just feeds all the way through on a continuous cable all the way down. So it's basically just one cable. And uh, the inverter's here tucked underneath the panel on the railing, the aluminum railing here. So everything's tucked away nicely. Uh, the trunk cable basically has uh, got these little points where you plug in the inverter and there's your inverter and your panel comes from the panel to the inverter here so basically in from the panel out to the trunk cable and then down uh, to the electric box so get a view of the array here We've got 17 panels up 17 250s or 255s the inverters are M215 end phase inverters these are the Canadian Solars. I've got 17 panels up currently, and I've got 17 more panels uh, that I've got uh, in storage, actually, in my house. So they're taking up one of my bedrooms. Uh, I'm going to get those up probably in the next year. Uh, kind of kind of spent a lot of money this year, so i got to start slowing down a little bit and recoup some of it. Anyways. I'll show another video on that. This is, here's, the, here's the same trunk cable. This is the same trunk cable that goes all the way down to the very last panel. I'll show you how it starts actually. This is a, uh, I believe they call this a branch terminator. And basically, it's 
at the beginning of my branch, which uh, is this guy here. Basically, you, you, pull, you, you start off and the cable is basically just cut here, and you start off with one of these to insulate it against uh, any elements. It's pretty straightforward. It's simple stuff. It's not uh, rocket science. I had fun doing it. I never, uh, I never did a solar project. This is my first project uh, that I've done. And like I said, it's my first project, and it was nothing, uh, nothing too complex. It, you know, it just all went together. It's like a big puzzle. So, anyways, there it is. If you have any questions on anything else that I might have done or whatnot, uh, give me a give me a comment in the comment section, and uh, I'll uh, check them out and respond. Actually, here here's another thing. This is a uh, end phase coupler. Basically what happens here is, is because of the distance, I had a, a longer distance between the panels here versus the distance between the other panels. So the trunk, the trunk cable, uh, I would have had another one of these uh, connectors here. Basically those are the connectors for your uh, uh, inverters it would have been here so I had to extend that cable so instead of using a J box I use uh, this end uh, this end phase coupler uh, and these are approved to be out here just like that uh, basically they're they're watertight they're sealed uh, they're basically a uh, uh, what do they call it a NEMA 6 they're rated as, at a, uh, for a NEMA 6 weather uh, I, I don't know exactly how that all goes but uh, the inspector had to be satisfied that this was okay to be out here in the elements like that and I had to do uh, research on that but it has a NEMA 6 rating if you look up NEMA 6 um, it'll explain to you what that's all about but anyways these are sealed watertight and they're rain sleet or snow so we don't get much rain out here in the desert so I had two I had another set and I had another one here and basically I had a uh, thing where the inspector didn't like it here or for whatever reason and I had to protect it he said I had to protect it so uh, basically here it is uh, what I did is I ran it through a two two and a half inch conduit and I made these aluminum straps out of a uh, I had a piece of angle angle aluminum bent it straight and I cut two pieces out and basically strapped it down and tied it to my uh, unistrut there with these self tapping screws or self drilling screws anyways that's that's the whole array uh, it looks pretty sharp actually I like the way I like the way it's set up it's producing about anywhere from 30 to depending on the day I'll produce 30 kilowatts uh, or I'll produce I've produced as low as 16 on a hazy day 